The earthquake shake table is in Scripps Ranch, just east of the I-15, and now a building towers above it. Cold form steel is what it's made of, its load-bearing system, its walls, floors, and roofing. In the real world, a building like this could only be six stories high in a seismic zone like California. So a big aspect we're testing here is can we push the envelope and see robust seismic performance beyond six stories. And so you see, we got a 10-story building, so we're all really excited. We've already broken uh, code limitations with this structure. Cold form steel, or CFS, got its name because its final formation is done with brakes and presses at room temperature. It's supplied to builders in coils of thin steel. The raw material is sheet steel. It's some of the same steel that goes into the automotive industry to make fenders and bumpers and hoods. Don Allen works with a steel construction industry group. He says cold form steel is recycled steel. The material comes from old cars, fridges, ovens. That steel is melted down and pressed into sheets that are less than a tenth of an inch thick. But Allen says CFS is surprisingly strong. And the thing is, once you melt it down and get it back down to its iron molecules, then you can make steel out of it that's stronger than the original steel. So if you're making a refrigerator, that side of that refrigerator doesn't have to be very strong at all, but you can melt that down and make this stuff that can carry these 10, 15 story structures. The advantages of cold form steel include its small carbon footprint due to recycling. It's non-combustible, very strong, but very lightweight. UCSD shake tested a 10-story wood frame building made of mass timber a couple of years ago, also environmentally friendly, but Hutchinson says it was twice as heavy as the CFS building we see now. Now, if you're in a seismic realm, the earthquake realm, lightweight uh, materials are fantastic because um, the forces that we're going to generate are directly proportional to the mass that we put into the structural system. So if we can lighten up the structural system, we can reduce those seismic, what we call seismically induced forces. The cold form steel building will be tested on the earthquake shake table on Monday. If the test is successful, Hutchinson hopes to see a code change to allow greater use of the material in the near future. Thomas Fudge, KPBS News.